Let's prove the following trig identity. So starting off here, likely I'm gonna rewrite the left side to in its basic trig component. So secant's the same thing as one over cosine squared x plus cosecant's one over sine squared x. So what I can do here is I can get a common denominator. Common denominators can be cosine squared x times sine squared x. So I'll have sine squared x on the top here times cosine squared x times sine squared x because the sine squared over sine squared is the same thing as one so it's valid and then we'll have cosine squared x here plus um, cosine squared x sine squared x, x now what I can do here is since they have a common denominator I can combine them so I have sine squared x plus cosine squared x all over cosine squared x sine squared x. This is the trig identity here. It's equal to 1. So I can just erase this. And I have 1. And if you notice here, cosine in the denominator cosine squared x and sine squared x, I can rewrite these as just, well, you can think of it like this, 1 over cosine squared x times 1 over sine squared x. And actually, I can rewrite these as secant squared x times cosecant squared x, which is equal to what's on the right side of the equation. All right, I hope that helped you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.